All right, so um, hi guys. Um, you're probably wondering what the, is this video all about. Well, based off of the title of the video, which I haven't yet decided what it will be. What I ultimately decided was that I would make a Bristol Dirt video a couple or I guess a few days after it came out. Well, actually, that's a lie because um, the reason why there wasn't a review was because I honestly forgot about uh, the review. And also, you're probably wondering, what's the long-ass break? Well, the reason is because, uh, number one, I have not been finding any new NASCAR Authentics, and I told myself the Spider Cup Series would return only if I found any new 164 scale cars that I needed for the series. I'm not telling you guys which ones they are, but I guess if you have a look at the waves, you would know which ones I desire the most. But other than that, yeah, the Bristol Dirt Weekend happened not too long ago. It happened last weekend, or technically all the races got pushed back to a Monday. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to give you the good, I'm going to give you the bad, and what could be improved. Uh, the one good thing I have to say about the Bristol Dirt Weekend was that, yes, these cars and trucks can run on the Bristol Dirt Track. Both races were mildly entertaining. They were really good races. The truck race was good. Albeit it was a little bit more calmer considering that the truck guys have run on the dirt more longer than the cup guys and all that sort of stuff. I guess the only problem with the truck race was that a leech one, but I'm not a guy who dislikes leeching and all that sort of stuff. And it was cool to see Martrix Jr. win in a truck. We don't see him in the truck or in the truck series that often. So uh yeah. Also, by the way, Toyota has won in the truck in the truck series so far this year they have won all the races so far that's something interesting and in terms of any criticisms for the cup race um all that for a logano win i know it's not a criticism but like i mean all that for a logano win i don't know but uh yeah so that's pretty much the good of the bristol dirt weekend i have to say but in terms of really the bad, like the really, really bad, um, I'm still not a fan of like NASCAR not running on a proper dirt track rather than turning an already great track into a dirt track. You know, I mean, that's something I'm still wondering, like why, like just why? But then again, NASCAR was forced to by Fox considering that they wanted a, tr they wanted a, a dirt race and all that sort of stuff. Another criticism I also have is that, well, um, we're still doing uh, this race. We're still um, impacted by rain once again, you know, and whatnot sort of have you. Like, I, I'm not saying that it was, that was NASCAR's fault, but, I mean, definitely it sucks that the race got pushed back to a Monday and all that sort of stuff for a Logano win. But, hey... Um, I can't control the weather, but certainly NASCAR can con can control the scheduling. But uh, I don't know. And so, really, what the one thing I could improve about about this race, I would really like this race to be back in the June, like we had last year, or to be back in June, because I really think that the Bristol Dirt Race can really work as a summer classic. I'm not saying turn it into a into a night race, considering that we already have. The Bristol Night Race, and that should definitely be for the paved oval, you know, or for the asphalt, you know. But I, like I said, I think it would be cool to have a Bristol, to have the Bristol Dirt Race in June, like we did last year. I think that would be cool. And besides, that would not, um, uh, rain won't alter that race, considering that we had no issues last year. So, I mean, that's what I have to say about that. But, hell, I don't know. I would like that for next year, you know, really, though. But, yeah, though, that's all I have to say about the Bristol Dirt Race, or at least the weekend. Yeah, sorry that there wasn't really a review. I just forgot to review it, and I guess that now I have my thoughts fully... I have my full, complete thoughts on the whole weekend and the whole experiment. I definitely think it could work. But I feel like it's gonna flat, it's gonna fall flat in its face sooner rather than later. 
or later rather than sooner. But eh, I don't know, guys. Um, but really, let's be honest with you guys. I would really love Eldora to come back. Freaking NASCAR, so retarded though. But uh, that's a rant for another day. So I thank you guys for listening to my voice. I'm getting back into school, or I'm going back to school. So um, the Spyro Cup series may not return for a little while, and uh, California is slowly going back to normal. So things might change, but uh, hopefully things will get better though. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.